Okay, and welcome back to Gothic 3. Let's play Gothic 3, rather. This is Mr. Joseph, and again, this is my second video in which I'm overlaying the audio after having previously recorded the video. So I hope that, uh, again, this experience isn't too um, disconcerting. But anyway, You're here no we are fighter. in Monterra, and um, I'll take I'm... Good redoing the slave retrieval quest that I failed last time because I incited too much violence within the city. So here we are with the blacksmith again. And I'm going to fight him again, and hopefully this time I won't arouse any um, suspicion from the other city inhabitants by killing him quickly without hitting anybody else. But staying closer to this blacksmith shop might help me with that a little bit. Although he's clearly... Um, well, he almost got me, but... And I guess I have to sit down on the ground for a second, but... Um, I guess the slave is going to take his uh, weapon. That's kind of funny. Alright. Um, I'm going to just take the slave on a escort quest now up to the um, Hashishan guy. Oops, there goes my phone. time I'll get you more <coughs> and I'm gonna talk to the blacksmith now that he's woken back up very good straight and I get my reward here see. by turning it in which is nice. And so I guess I'll go find a new quest to do. Now, this this guy gave me a quest to find two slaves, not just one, but two, count them, two slaves. And so I might head up to get that other one in a minute, but the other slave is over by the um, arena for this um, for this place. By the way, I just quick saved. Um, and so I don't know if I want to do that just yet, because um, I want to do the arena quest all at once. Well, looks like I'm uh, heading over there. Yeah, I'm gonna head over here anyway. So I hope y'all slept well. Um, I don't really say y'all that much, by the way. I just happen to say it in this case. Um, so anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I hope you all slept well. I I did, uh -huh. although I woke up a little earlier than I would have liked, what? and I may have to take a nap. Uh, a little bit later. In real life, today is a Saturday. Uh, it's hey, September 28th, 2013. And so I'm talking to this guy named Ashton. He's the um, overseer of the That's arena good. battles. No, no, and I said I want to fight him, but he won't let me fight him until I've defeated the other opponents. So I'm going to go out here and look for other people to fight. Let's talk to this guy. So you're looking for people who have actual names rather than enlightened mercenary or whatever, you know, such and such a mercenary. So here we have Ugo. I love how this game just uses um, Hispanic names but doesn't use them properly. Ugo is how you would pronounce what looks like Hugo. I'm not sure if there's any country that actually spells it that way, Ugo. But in any event... Um, the classic example is Javier, who in this this game calls Javier, which is kind of cool, I guess. Okay, so here I'm using the cheat method where I um, press inventory and then uh, heal up. And uh, as I stated in my earlier videos, I don't like to do this <coughs> very often because, um, you know, I guess uh, it, I, I view it as sort of unfair and bad role-playing, etc. But... I think uh, in this case it's warranted just to save me some uh, some grief because I was having trouble with my system and the lag in the battle was, you know, bear in mind I'm in one of the busiest areas, <coughs> busiest areas in the game, and uh, essentially the uh, the uh, problem is the lag causes my sword strikes to not go very fast, which causes him to have a huge advantage. So I. Uh, healed up there and I'm just gonna finish this battle real quick 
It's going better now. I'm also using a pathetically um, ineffective weapon. If I were smart, I'd go ahead and switch to the Repair, which is a weapon that I do have, I think, at this point. And it has a 10 or 15 better damage uh, amount. Nothing more to be had there. So, you know, I grabbed his stuff, and I'm just waiting for him to wake back up now. And he sounds a little sore, so I'm going to go back here and get this chest, though. This is just me preemptively grabbing this chest. It's part of a quest later, but I'm going to grab it now while I'm over here. One of the purposes behind this Let's Play is to give you the insider information that you're going to need to succeed in this game and so just grabbing this chest right now would, would definitely save you some time uh -huh. all right <clears throat> excuse me so I've invited this next guy here to the Show arena to and his die. name is Fodor and, uh, of course, Ugo is running out of there while I kick Fodor's ass. He's got a nice axe that will sell for some good money if I beat him. There it is. And my reputation's going up. And my, uh, money is uh, increasing. So I'm waiting for him to wake back up, but I'm looking for other people to fight right now. If you don't want and I'm going to talk to the slave. This slave is somebody who I, I need to get trouble. back to the uh, rightful owner, as it were. All right. So I'm going to challenge. Uh, well, I'm going to talk to him after the fight. Tell me. The others think. And you know, each time you talk to somebody new, you can ask them what they think of Merrick, which is part of another quest. You look like. Meet. And so I'm going to fight this guy now. So this guy has a here, uh, sword and shield style, Dan. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, of course, oh uh, I just lost, so, <laughs> you know, strike I'll what I just said. I guess I should have healed up first and it's been a little bit more I careful. So he's going to steal all my gold and my weapon. Now, this is not a problem, however, because... It is true that if, in this context anyway, if you get knocked down, you get your stuff taken, you can um, simply beat up the guy and take all his stuff and you'll end up with everything, including the stuff he took from you, so it'll be fine. So, I have healed up and I'm going to go find Dan again. Having a little trouble finding him. There isn't much that could happen. Grab a grab a new weapon here. Yeah, what can I tell you? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. And uh here he is. Okay, so we'll get him back for a rematch. Hi. Go Fortunately, <coughs> in this game, it's not best of best of um, Come here, boy. three, you know, best out of three or whatever. It's just once you win, you win, so. So this fight, <coughs> if you take it a little bit more seriously, it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, especially if you have a better weapon than I do. Again, being a mage, uh, I'm somewhat encumbered by by that fact. Uh, I, I don't have a great fighting uh, s a set of fighting skills. And I'm grabbing his stuff, which includes all of my stuff, of course, and uh, that should settle that. 
Now we're going to re-equip my Orc Slayer. And I think we're going to go time. see if there's anybody else you I can fight. So Good. And I'm going to talk to Dan and just get his stuff first, what including his slave. I have no well, not his stuff. I'm just going to get his slave, I should clarify. Okay, so talking to Dan's slave and trying to get him back to uh, his uh, quote unquote rightful owner. So I'm cooking a ham, or not a ham, a turkey. Um, it came in a. Um, from a meat place or something. I don't even know. My mom sent it to me. A meat factory or meat company. And I got it in the mail randomly in a. It was shipped to me in a box. Uh, showed up at work one day, and um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cook that up and enjoy it for dinner tonight. Probably, probably take a good six hours to cook though, and it's about 11 o'clock, so that should be about perfect. Alright, well, I'm <coughs> um, transacting business with Ugo. So I've bought all of his arrows, finally, which is a great relief because I was running very low on arrows. And I'm trying to find things to sell him to offset the cost. You know, in this stage of the game, I guess it's not uncommon to constantly be looking for, uh, as you transact business, ways to profit or maintain a decent cash flow so Ugo is a good resource because he sells arrows and you just gotta remember who sells arrows especially if you play like I do and you shoot everything so I'm gonna go back to the uh, slave owner here Miss give him his slave good. back I never doubt it. Here is your okay and he gave me a reward and the slaves coming there and that's great Okay, so I guess I'm going to try to find some new quests now. Or no, I'm going to go back to the arena now that I've returned the slave, of course. So I'm looking for other people to fight, and I think I may have exhausted the supply of run-of-the-mill fighters. Okay, so I'm walking around yes. uh, here late at night, and uh, it looks like I found another guy to fight here. This is, uh, was it Cypress? That's hard for me to see. Um, so here I am Come in the here. arena, and he's attacking. He's got, oh, it's Goose. I'm sorry, I didn't read that correctly. He's got a big old two-handed sword. Um... So, you know, the advantage, of course, is that I have a faster attack, but he's got a much stronger weapon. There I go, I leveled. So that's good. And I'm gonna grab his stuff. That bastard sword he had, the two-hander. Well, it's a bastard sword, I should be specific. It's gonna sell for a decent amount of money. I don't know. I guess I'm healing up here or something. Let me go ahead and use this stone tablet while I'm sitting here. That stone tablet will allow me to gain uh, five ancient knowledge, which is why you should always, always, always buy stone tablets, especially if you're going into the magic field. In some ways, you should uh, keep those tablets for later in the game, uh, because or until you need them, because I think... I could be wrong about this, but I think if um, if you have more ancient knowledge, some lecterns and bookshelves won't work for you. Okay, so this is Ashton, the arena Come champion. Here. I finally got to fight him. 
And he is using a bearded axe, which is a very powerful but slow weapon. It's also very expensive. And I've got him kind of trapped here because my attack is so much faster, so he's going to have to find a way out of this pattern or lose the battle, which he just did. So I'm going to grab his stuff, including his expensive axe, and I'm in good shape. Nothing more to be had there. Well, I just want to show you this. So my um, skill set is uh, lacking seriously right now. I don't have any specialization in any particular area other than hunting. I just have some animal hunting skills, which is good for my um, it's financial my situation, I guess. But Ashton's back on his feet now, and so one of the next things I'm going to do here is I'm going to learn impossible locks. Because I'm just having trouble not uh, not Who being able to open all these chests. Stop crying. So Ashton's yeah. really Looks upset like about losing, uh, obviously. Leave me alone. And he's done talking. So I beat Ashton. So, and I also I think at some point there I talked to him about his opinion of, um, you know, uh, Merrick. So, I've basically done all of the arena quests, and I'm very close to getting to, excuse me, to the point of being approved by the city. So I'm just looking through this burnt out house for the sake of being thorough. And I'm gonna cook up some meat here, I guess, for some unknown reason. And I'm just gonna go back down here to this first area of town, this um, entryway quarter. This is a little merchant shop. You can see the cloth and the bags of what appear to be food, barrels, bundles of weapons. Excellent. And <coughs> looking at my bundles of weapons. There they are. So I've got quite a few. And those are going to be useful here in a minute for a quest. I heard that you defeated Ash. So Merrick's going to reward me for about becoming the arena champion, <coughs> and I'm going to tell him about all of his other little buddies. I sh oh. Good. Okay. Well, here I am in the um, tavern again. I think I'm just selling weapons, I think. So I've got a bunch of weapons from that arena fighting that I'd like to get rid of and turn into cash. So yeah, here I am selling, again, my standard practice for selling. You'll get used to this. Sell anything that's duplicative. Sell anything that's rusty or, you know, like a rusty sword, rusty axe, or sell anything that's worn, which could be literally any weapon. So, and also sell weapons that you can't use, or that you know you'll be getting more of later if you need the cash now. So, essentially, you're just, I suppose the end game goal would be to have one copy of each weapon. I suppose... For those who want to learn two-handed sword fighting, you might want two copies of some weapons, but it's just nice to have uh, a co a one of each weapon so you can play around with them and experiment and w figure out what you like. Each weapon, by the way, has uh, three or four different factors about them that make them unique. One is range, one is damage, one is speed, and then there's probably a fourth category of other properties that you might have. So, for example, um, and I don't have these numbers in front of me, but a regular a broadsword uh, would have a shorter range than a halberd, obviously. A halberd has a very long range, and a halberd is a slower weapon than a broadsword, however, and I think a halberd does a little bit more damage, but I 
don't know the exact number. But anyway, you can kind of understand that some weapons are going to be different in that way than others. And just remember, Professor Snuggles is watching you.